And now, your selection. Meet the stars. As if we didn't have enough to do with eight or nine characters, we're bringing more. We brought in one of the most beloved characters, a character named Nightcrawler. I play Nightcrawler, who is this blue mutant, but his special skill is I can teleport. He looks quite odd. He's got a tail and he's got funny claws and pointy ears and pointy teeth and yellow eyes. And I mean, it's like three or four hours in makeup, depending how well I behave. The character that I play is called uh, Yuriko Oyama slash Lady Deathstrike. And I am sort of a more advanced version of Wolverine. The ex-kids do get quite a featuring, you know, role in this. Particularly the character of Iceman. Have you tried not being a mutant? And Pyro. The next time you feel like showing off, don't. X2 is a much more romantic movie. I mean, in the X-Men 1, you know, People were, you know, passing numbers. Now they're actually going on dates. We have two romances going on. One is between Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Wolverine. And the first one for, for the character was that she sort of had this love triangle situation that she was involved in. And in the second one, we're taking that a step further. We're kind of taking it to a different level. Girls flirt with the dangerous guy, Logan. You don't take him home. They married a good guy. I could be the good guy. Our other love story is with Rogue and Iceman. Rogue in, in this movie has a boyfriend, which is slightly complex given her um, inability to be t able to touch anyone without killing them. And then Mystique shows a bit of her seductive side. She's a sexy character, and uh, I think we tried to, I tried to play that up a little bit more in this one. No one's ever left a scar quite like you. Me want an apology. You know what I want. What do you want? I think X-Men fans can look forward to uh, more of just about everything they liked before. And then in a whole additional group of effects that are bigger, oh. broader, more exciting. If you like the first film, you're going to like the second even more, because there's more. There's more. There are more characters. There's more action. X2 stands on its own. It is a movie that you can walk into the theater not even knowing the world of X-Men and enjoy it. I have a strong sense that fans and cinema goers are really looking forward to what the leap forward is going to be now with this movie. So get ready.